back, everyone. Seth Meyers is joining us. Good to be here. Ah, thank you for being here, bud. Yeah. Um, uh, during during this, uh, th this this writer's strike, you also started another podcast. A, uh, yes. I, I, I love this one with your brother Josh. Yes, who I love. And by the way, give him my best. I will. He used to do stuff uh, with you on the show on All late night. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's called Family Trips with the Myers Brothers. We had this idea for years, and we decided the strike was a good time to get it off the ground. Why family trips? So we talk to, uh, you know, celebrities, and we only talk to them about the trips they took when they were kids. And it's really fun because you realize what a great equalizer it is. Uh, very few of the celebrities you know and love uh, had money when they were kids. And it's just a lot. And also, uh, you know, for Josh and I, we were, grew up in the 70s and early 80s. And so many people like us took trips where they were just in the back of a station wagon, no seatbelts. Nobody even thought about seatbelts. <laughs> yeah. The amount of kids is like, my parents put down a mattress. We had a card table. <laughs> And, yeah. we, and they would just we'd slide around. And there's random gamblers just back there. Randy with the gambler, yeah. We strangers you picked up in the pick up dealers. Yeah, yeah, go play poker with my kids. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Smart. And, uh, but it's fun, and and you just realize, especially the the more trips go wrong, I feel like the more they enter the family lore, and those disaster trips are the ones you talk about for years and years with your family because you survived them and it brought you all closer. And so it's nice talking to people about all those things. Who, who do you got coming up on, on that podcast? Um, uh, we got Nate Bargatze. I know uh, a huge Nate Bargatze fan right here. I love uh, that, dude. Uh, Nick Offerman's coming up. Uh, John Mulaney's coming up. Yeah, okay. um, and, and so it's just a, it's a full delight. You're going to do it, right? I'm so in. I can't We're wait. We're podcast bros now. You got to. Do we have to We're do it? We're podcast bros. I already got my trip planned now. I can't wait. Hey. I have all the gear. Yeah, you do have all the gear. What I've am I gonna it. do with all this gear? <laughs> I know it's pretty K nice. Kimmel was like, "Is like, oh, if you're doing this podcast, uh, I right, ordered this uh, uh, mixer, these headphones. I got this microphone thing. I go, oh my gosh, I don't know what." But he gave us like Amazon link. I wanted to talk about. I almost forgot the best thing about Strike Force Five is we all like we all got better as we went because the first room. You did the first two episodes in a room, and I've never seen Jimmy look hotter. He chose, he chose, a, and again, we started in August. There was p terrible ventilation, and just, oh, it was well, like well, watching to, you melt. Well, I didn't know what room to do the podcast in. Nothing was really quiet. And so I went, we have like a, like a, like a, like a guest cottage. And so I went to this cottage thing, and there was a loud cricket that was so loud. I go, they're going to think, it's so, and I would have to stomp on the floor, and then it would be quiet. I go, I can't do this for the whole... Wait, the cricket would be quiet if you stomped? So it was a yeah. very... It was a respectful cricket. Trained cricket, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to work with the amateur crickets, yeah. He's famous. He might... J yeah. Jiminy? Oh, Jiminy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pretty famous. He's been in a couple films. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I don't want to name drop, but I hang out with cartoons. <laughs> well... You don't know me? I, I, my whole world that is That was the Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're old, old, old buddies. And you buddies. didn't want to bring him on the podcast. Yeah, what is he going to talk about? Pinocchio? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nah, come on. Come on, he's not in the new one. Uh, so I went to this room, and I went to this room, and there was, no, the air, there was no air conditioning, and I was just shoved in so I could get out of everyone's way, and it was so hot. Yeah. And I go, oh, my gosh. And we did two episodes, and we were just trying to figure out, so I think it was like four. Four hours. It was long. The first day was long. But then here's why I was, uh, I wasn't mad, but it was making me laugh. Everything was making me laugh. But because I was like, I got to get out of here because I'm going to die. I mean, yeah. I, 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 my face is red. I was, so I texted the, everybody on Strike Force. So this is the craziest thing. So Jimmy is talking to four of us on, it's not a live podcast. <laughs> so anything he says, we could just edit out. I know, I know, I know, I know. But instead but... he chooses to text us. Why didn't they even read it? So I texted everyone, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here, man. Like, <laughs> wrap it up. Let's go, man. I'm like, I'm gonna, and, and then. You know, uh, Colbert immediately Colbert. was like, hey, I just got a text from Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta go. And we're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like if you were at dinner with one other person and you texted them, how much longer is this dinner gonna go? <laughs> Oh my God! Totally busted me on that. Uh, so, so you and you and Oliver are doing stand up together. Yeah, uh, John Oliver and I, uh, we're gonna do uh, New Year's Eve in Las Vegas. Woo! Uh, very exciting. Oh, that's gonna be fun. And I'm also uh, very excited. I'm doing a fundraising show in New Hampshire in Manchester. Uh, that's my home state. Uh, that's right. It's a fundraiser for a couple of great uh, organizations: Granite State Children Alliance and Casa. So, if you live in the Granite State. Uh, come check it out because it's a really special night. You're a good man. We always love it when you stop by. That's my Strike Force 5 buddy right there. Seth Myers, everybody. Stay tuned. Late night with Seth Myers. There's weeknights, including Wednesday, right after the Tonight Show. It's also available on Peacock. Stick around. We'll be right back, everybody. Hey, hey.